Hi. So uh, I purchased my new uh, Regal oscilloscope um, DS1052E. Uh, it's a 50 megahertz analog bandwidth and uh, one giga samples per second. So pretty good oscilloscope for my need. Uh, so uh, as you can see, uh, this oscilloscope runs well. So let me do it from the starting. So so as I power on, uh, you can see the initial screen. It shows all the version number of software and as such there is no major delay and then it runs the channel number 2 which I have set. I also have this clamp meter. Uh, it's a meter to measure current and as you can see it is connected to channel number 2. Also uh, if you can say if you can see the setting it is actually set for let me switch it on it is actually set for 100 millivolts for 1 amp and which also means that the probe ratio is actually 10 is to 1 so same i have done over here uh, the probe setting is 10x so let's do the menu off okay so what i'm going to do is uh, to test the oscilloscope in a, it, it's not testing the oscilloscope but to measure the current and how does the probe work uh, let me uh, connect it to the wire which is feeding the supply to which is feeding the supply to my computer so as you can see I have taken one of the wire which is uh, basically out of phase and neutral I have taken one and uh, that power is actually fed into the power supply to my computer so as you can see I have the UPS over here and um, my computer and the TFT monitor with uh, okay and that's a, mul that's a different multimeter uh, also have my router and uh, modem so this is the current waveform so as expected the current drawn by this uh, computer load is highly non-linear it is a very high uh, crest factor the peak value is very high which comes to about 2.3 volts which is also equal to 2.3 amps but uh, the rms value is very small it comes to only about 0 0.853 millivolts sorry 0 0.853 volts which equals to about 0.853 amps because the probe is actually set for the same 10x ratio so uh, the so if i do a quick simple math so 230 volts uh, which is the standard uh, Indian uh, voltage uh, let me multiply 230 into uh, 0 0.853 which is the current and it comes to about 196 watts so uh, the power which is taken by my computer and monitor and modem router and this oscilloscope itself is about 196 watts which is pretty okay so um, yeah so uh, this is the current um, let me connect so I have this USB drive let me connect this USB drive and see how does it really store so okay so first let me freeze the waveform and so what I've done is I have stopped the waveform so it doesn't move so I've connected the USB drive okay it says USB something so what I do is uh, storage waveform uh, bitmap external okay so it says new file one dot bmp so okay so it says save uh, let me save it saving okay done so let me come out come out and I remove this USB drive remove it from here connect it to my PC which is connected so so this is the waveform let me see if I can see the same waveform on my PC Okay, so um, let me go to the Explorer. 
removable and file is this one double click yeah so as you can see uh, the storage is pretty good so it works 